Hey guys, I'm Roby Birch, founder of Birch Barrel. It's our last shoot of today. Yeah. We uh, got something good for you. We got a nice porterhouse steak. We're gonna cook on a cast iron. Got a little bit of rain, but we're gonna make do. All right, we're gonna do this fast. We wanna make sure our herbs are always misted. Bad joke. Really good uh, flaky sea salt, right? And again, I like to salt things heavy. Cast iron skillet, yeah. roaring hot. It was so hot that we actually moved the coal bed down a little yep. bit. Um, we're gonna Easy go right man. in there. Steak fits perfect in there. All right, I'm gonna salt the top of the steak as well. Now we're using a dry pan, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna get a really nice crust on that steak. I mean, that is just a beautiful dry aged porterhouse steak. The porter. Let's, what do we? Let's talk about a porterhouse real yeah. quick. It's half of it's a New York strip, correct? Yes. Yeah, so you have a beautiful strip right here. Yep. And you got the fillet right there. Correct, so it's uh, yeah. the best of both worlds yep. steak. You know. Mm -hmm. And this steak too has a great marbleization to it. You can see that cap on the side of it, as well as this cap here, and then all that marbling inside yep. the actual yeah. meat. And I like to I like to get my steaks to room temperature. Yep. Uh, before I cook them because. You know, when you're going hot and fast like this, right. you want to make sure you can get the middle of your steak to the temperature that you're looking for. Right. If you pull it right out of the refrigerator and you have a cold, cold center, it's, really it's impossible. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you look, and it's not because it's raining, yeah. um, it doesn't stay dry for very long. No. The fats out, come out of that steak, and that's what you're using to render and cook this steak here. I love using cast irons because you have that flat, even, hot surface. And then, you know, a porterhouse or a, or a T-bone is a great steak to cook in a cast iron because you have that bone there which yep. keeps your steak flat. Correct, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the steak out, right? As soon as I think that side's done, I'm gonna pull it out on the board, I'm gonna cut it off the bone. Okay. We're gonna put it right back in the pan on the bone. Not on the bone, but with the bone. With the bone, yep. Uh, and finish it with butter on the other side. I wanna kinda see how it looks here. I think this back side's gonna look perfect here. We're gonna come out here, oh my God, look at that. We're gonna let that stay on there, right? Stay nice and hot. So right, your porterhouse here, you have this, this T-bone, right? right? Yep. That comes out here. I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna slice down this way. I'm gonna slice over this way, All right? And why are we slicing it off the bone? Because what I wanna do is, I wanna get flavor deep, deep down in that steak. We're gonna okay. butter it. So we're gonna finish the other side and we're gonna melt some butter in there, which is gonna turn into brown butter in there with herbs, oh, okay. salt, pepper, and it just looks pretty. Yeah, it you does know? look cool. So we're gonna take it makes, our- It makes for good photos. It does. We're gonna take our uh, filet off here. I know it's, it's very rare. I'm gonna keep the filet intact and the strip, I'm just gonna cut in chunks, right? Just like this. Actually, you know what? Let's let's also go like this. Just chunk this down. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here, right? Boom. Now your pan's even hotter. Just watch your hands when you do this. This pan is searing, searing hot. That's how pretty that is. All right. Rain butter, Jersey rain butter. A couple little pats here. Let's throw that right in. All right, in the pan, on the steak. Yes, I'm using a lot of butter. Butter and fat. I, I, listen, I love butter. Nothing better. Look how beautiful that is. A little bit more salt. Yeah, here. I'm gonna come in here with just a little fresh oregano, stems and all. Now what we're doing is, we're literally just, basically just creating brown butter yeah. and herbs in the pan. And this is not gonna cook much longer. I mean, just because now that the steak's opened up, allowing that bone that flavor to, penetrate. to cook, we're gonna get a nice char on the back end. And then we're gonna finish it with more herbs and that brown butter that we're creating. That looks so good. That looks so yeah. good. 
so good I almost forgot that it was raining. I think it might have slowed down a little. Yeah. So just look at this brown butter, right? So it's gonna get nutty tasting, go in all these crevices. Uh, you can smell that oregano coming through already. Yeah, you like that? So it's just oregano brown butter. And we're pretty much done. I'm gonna... Oh, we don't really need to do much more. No. I mean, you could serve it right out of there. What I like to do is, I love herbs. Fresh herbs, I'm talking real fresh herbs. Tear some mint. I love mint, I love dill. Yeah, oh yeah. I like to kind of like lighten up a steak versus doing like the big potatoes and the cheesy dishes and all those like yeah, typical right. steak side dishes. Um, I like just pairing it uh, with just fresh herbs. You get like this pop of brightness with all that fattiness oh, and that yeah. steak, which which I personally just love. Just some fresh parsley. I'm gonna spare you on the uh, cilantro today. Okay. You're not gonna um, offend me. Again, really good salt. All right, we're gonna use a little bit of the, the Lucky Well Great. rub over yeah. it. Just a little bit. Add a little bit of bite to for it. For color, yeah. Fish sauce, a little tiny bit of fish sauce, right? And, Good. all right, a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Fish sauce, olive oil, a little Some citrus in there. A little huh? pop of citrus. Don't want that seed to fall in there. Perfect. All I'm going to do is just finish that with some fresh herbs. And if you want, you can come down in here and get some of that great brown butter and just wilt the herbs a little bit. Throw it over the steak. That's it. Boom. That's an easy steak. That's good. We got a little wet in the process, but we made it through the rainstorm. Got a good looking steak that we're gonna eat here in a yeah. second. But, uh, Chef. Ah, thanks so much thanks for, for having watching. me. This is great. Rain steak, Jersey rain steak. We love it. On to the next one. Thanks, guys.